ASX reporting season has reached the final stretch. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder, and in this week's bonus edition of Investor Spotlight, we review the results of three companies from the ASX reporting period and analyze the stock's technicals. The Commonwealth Bank of Australia delivered a slightly better than expected set of full-year results. Revenues were in line with expectations, however the bottom line increased by more than expected, which supported a chunkier dividend of $2.40 per share. The strong result was driven by continued loan growth, along with a 17 basis point increase in net interest margins from a year earlier. However, NIM was lower than the first half as the bank moved past peak margins for this cycle. The bank confirmed analysts' fears of weaker profitability going forward too, with CBO, CBA CEO Matt Common flagging a moderation in consumer demand and slowing economic growth. Analysts were generally positive about CBA's results, resulting in a slight uplift in the consensus price target. However, brokers still believe the bank trades at a premium to fair value. CBA shares lifted following the bank's full year profits, however the gains were paired with the stock remaining range bound. Major resistance remains at the shares all time high at $110. Support could be found at an upward sloping trendline support at roughly $97. Major support could emerge at $90, which coincides with a 200-week moving average. Woolworths' full-year results were roughly in line with expectations, with profits a fraction below consensus estimates. Both the top and bottom line grew from a year earlier, with profits increasing 4.6% and supporting a $0.58 cent final dividend. Woolworth CEO Brad Banducci said while the year saw a return to relative stability in the business, the impacts of cost of living pressures and linger lingering supply disruptions were a drag on the business's performance. Looking ahead to FY24, Banducci said inflation would moderate, but the consumer environment would remain challenging. The markets and analysts responded in a mixed fashion to Woolworth's full year results. The share price lifted on the day of the report. Broker's medium consensus price target was pared back slightly but remains at a small premium to the current share price. In the long term, Woolworths' share price is trading within a range. Short-term trendline support recently broke down with momentum shifting to the downside. Sellers have emerged on any push above $40. Meanwhile, strong buying support exists towards $30 per share. It was another disappointing set of results for Appen as the business fights for survival. Half-year revenues undershot expectations while the loss sustained for the period was greater than expected. Appen's CEO and President Armagun Ahmad said the result reflected a challenging external environment with the business's focus remaining on cutting costs and exiting the full year in a positive EBITDA position. Analysts remain neutral with a slight bearish bias towards Appen shares. However, after the result and a subsequent plunge in the company's share price, Broker's consensus price target has been sliced to $1.65. Appen share price is in a clear downtrend, having broken through psychological support of $2 after the release of half-year results. The next key level to watch is $1.20.